Okay, I'm going to go over the practice final. I'm going to start with question two, which concerns the, the silencing of the heterochromatin in the silk business. So the idea of this question is that you are working in the silk business, raising silkworms to make silk, but you're having a problem because some of your genes are being inappropriately silenced. So instead of trying to look for silk mutations that create silk, you want to use a proxy for silencing. And so in this experiment, you're going to choose position of variegation of the eyes as uh, a means to measure silencing. So the, the eye um, coloration is very similar to Drosophila, except that the wild type eye color in the, in the moth is brown and not red. And it's still, the brown color still depends on the white gene. And the white gene, when it's wild type, the eyes will have brown eyes because they will be making that pigment. If you have a mutation in the white gene where you do not make that pigment, then the eyes will have an overall white appearance. Now position effect variegation occurs when we have the wild type white gene that's embedded in a region that is covered by heterochromatin. So in some parts of the eye, you may have the, the white gene is covered by heterochromatin, while in other parts of the eye, the heterochromatin won't have spread so far. And so you end up getting these patches in the eyes. You'll get different colorations of brown patches and white patches, depending on the extent to which the heterochromatin has spread. Now in this, in this um, particular question, you want to um, do a mutagenesis and use this variegated phenotype as um, a way to screen for your mutants. So you do an F2 screen and find um, both the SU bars and the E bars. Now the SU bars are suppressors of variegation. So think about variegation means more white. So the more variegated, um, the, ph the phenomenon is more white. So our suppressors of variegation will be more brown. If you have less of the variegation, you're going to have more of the white gene normally being expressed, and your eyes will have more brown patches than white patches. The E bar will be an enhancer of the variegation, and so the E bars are going to make these eyes more white and with less brown patches.